is up, you sexy nerds? I'm Wildfire One. This is Nerds the New Sexy, the podcast. This is episode 105, Mini Boss episode. We thank you for watching and listening once again. And I should, you know, for further ado, I'm going to introduce the guy that's next to me. Well, not next to me, but next to me on the camera this time. Uh, who are you? Explain yourself. Sam36, uh, making yet another appearance on uh, Nerd's New Sexy podcast. And uh, just coming by today to talk about Far Cry New Dawn. Oh, yeah. This mini boss episode is brought to you by Far Cry. Not literally brought to you. They're not paying us. But yeah. If only. Yeah, if only. I wouldn't be able to, you know, say everything that I would want to. Yeah, if they were paying us, it'd probably be like, you know, probably one of those. I don't know. I, I like to think I'm I'm a legitimate person that I'm not gonna be like, oh, oh, they're giving us this money, so I can't say bad shit. I'd still do it, but I wouldn't get oh. paid very long. Yeah, see, that's um, the thing. I when it comes to that, that sort of stuff, I will say all the nice things you want me to for money. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're the mouth equivalent of a hooker. Yeah, pretty much. Speaking <laughs> of which, Nerd is a new sexy podcast. Uh, it's one of the best rated podcast out there on any platform well, and i encourage anyone and everyone to subscribe weekly uh, is that uh, your you attempt at getting paid yeah you can go ahead and put the check in the mail i'll edit that out <laughs> 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 so far cry new dawn um let's talk let's start from the very beginning well, you you were yeah. over here we were hanging out one day and you told me you got the game and this is about three days after the game came out yeah i uh i had unfinished business the way that five ended, I wasn't. I was happy with Far Cry Five as a game. I was unhappy with the ending. Oh yeah, and I don't think anyone I, was very happy with the ending. Yeah. So I was hoping that New Dawn would kind of provide some some closure, and uh, it did. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I mean, I was skeptical at first. I mean, forty dollar price point for a brand new game. You know, I hadn't I hadn't really looked into a lot of the marketing material. I hadn't read up on it a lot i just knew that it was you know 17 years after the explosion the end of five and 40 bucks i'm like ah, do you have that little faith in your game that you just said fuck it i'm gonna bring it out at 40 bucks but in reality as we've discussed and whatnot it's really more of an expansion yeah it's it's bigger than something that i would say you'd want to do as dlc but it's also it's like an old like, '90s expansion for games, like you know the old Diablo yeah. games and stuff like that had their expansions, and you'd buy the box, and it it was it was a good maybe I don't know twenty hours, maybe thirty five yeah, hours exactly. of gameplay, and mm -hmm. uh, so then that, that's I agree that's exactly what this feels like. But we're sitting here, and you're telling me you bought the game, and I'm just actually kind of surprised you bought the game because when we first heard about Far Cry New Dawn, you just kept saying fuck those guys, fuck yeah, that game. Again. I was I was not happy with the way five ended. No, you weren't happy at all. In fact, I really wish I had it recorded because you cursed quite a bit at the end of that game. You're like, "Fuck this game, fuck this, fuck, fuck Far Cry." But you were mad, like legitimately pissed off because I'm I'm not proud of the way I handled the ending of five. Oh, don't, it's okay. I felt the same way when I first saw it. I mean, uh, it literally ends with your character getting, like, the character that you got attached to and cared about being enslaved by, you know, the father. You were calling him daddy after that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there definitely was some, uh... Well, as we discovered, Don't well, I mean, so. I guess we'll get into that. Yeah. We'll get into that later. Yeah, we'll get um, into that later. But uh, so, okay, so what happened was you were at my place and we we're talking, we we're bullshitting, and you you started talking about Far Cry New Dawn, and it was like one of those moments where I was like, should I buy it? Fuck it, and I just it, it was an impulse buy, like forty yeah. bucks. It's not bad. It's not expensive. Might as well do it. Um, so I went out and I, I, I bought it right in front of me. I was like, ah, fuck it. Let it download. <laughs> and uh, we played the night after, I think, was when we first started yeah, playing. Yeah, next day, something like that. I'd already had a little bit of time with it, kind of got used to the mechanics again because, you know, I do, I play a lot of stuff third person. First person, it, you know, I had a little bit of, needed to get settled again. Well, you, you just got out of, you know, being literally balls deep in uh, Red Dead. Yeah, Red Dead for a while, yeah. And so you kind of have to you kind of have to go from one play style to another again. And you, you went, yep. you went, you know, we went from 
Far Cry 5 to to Red Dead, so. But, um, yeah, we, we played the next day, and we started uh-huh. it, and, we, you know, neither one of us really knew what to expect. We didn't look into the game too much. We... Uh, you knew, you knew, you played a little bit, but I mean, I didn't, and, and this is what, one of the best parts about this is that we didn't get any further in this game without each other. We played, yeah. the, we played the co-op all the way to about the end. And, uh, the running joke was that it was our game. So, yeah. I mean, I, I essentially hosted it, but anytime I got on to work on challenges, I didn't advance the game whatsoever other than, you know, working on you know, like my roster, getting them killed. So I didn't explore new places, didn't do missions or anything like that so that we could truly experience the, the game in a co-op uh, setting. That's another one of the things that updated in this new, in, in Far Cry New Dawn, was that your roster, your your characters that you can get can level up. I don't remember yeah. that being in the other one, right? Um, I don't recall. I don't think I don't you can level your characters up. No, I don't think they they learn new skills like they did in this one. Yeah, that was, that was one of the cool things. Is while we're on the topic of the roster of of the of the people you pick up, you see some old familiar faces. You see yep. some older familiar faces with gray in their hair, yeah. and you see some new people. Some people that you didn't know existed from the first game, and it, it's pretty cool. I mean, and we'll get further into that later because some of those new faces, some of the old faces, are just fun. They're just fucking hilarious. They they were hilarious in the yeah. first game. They're whole... so it kind of set the scene. So a new dawn. Obviously, the nuclear explosion has happened. Um, Seventeen years later, explosions. and everyone's kind of plural yeah, explosions. Uh, everyone is they're rebuilding, trying to establish the new normal, if you will. Uh, and they had it for a while. It seems right. They they were well on their way. They had happiness. Uh, it was peaceful, so to speak. Yeah, so to speak. And one of the ways that the government was helping rebuild was there is a, a team led by a man by the name of Thomas Rush who traveled across the country, essentially establishing settlements, building them up. Um, you know, he's kind of, I don't remember what he was by trade, but I mean, really think kind of like an engineer. He yeah. would get people water, he would get, you know, agricultural systems going and whatnot. He was Captain and, Save a City. Exactly. Uh, and so then you find out a, a character uh, by the name of Carmina Rye, uh, which that last name should be quite familiar. For yeah. The rest of the place. Yeah. It took us a uh, minute to figure it out, though, didn't it? Just Yeah. Just a little. It's like this seems so familiar. Like, oh, shit. Um, She's like a 17 but, year um, old. And you're like, I kind of felt dirty helping this. Yeah, girl. You, were, you were a pervert. I was a pervert. But, you know. So as your train, you are the plane as the captain of security for this group. As you're traveling to what's called Prosperity, uh, your train comes under attack by highwaymen. These are the new bad guys in New Dawn. And the highwaymen are essentially, I think, I don't know, would you say like uh, Mad Max status? Yeah, I would definitely say Mad Max status because they wear the helmets and they're all like, their even their outfits are kind of like spray painted on, and it did you know yeah. in some aspects they they they're very they're very Mad Maxy villains in my opinion, and yeah. they have the two they're loud, the, all their their vehicles are all painted bright colors, mm, they pink. Listen to shitty, they listen to shitty rap music all the time. Oh my god! Like I I can deal with some hip hop, but Jesus Christ, this was like angry. Um, how how did you put it? Like mumble rap. Yes, that's what you said. Just, when we we shot every radio we could find, that uh, or, or punched it, yeah, yeah. And uh, so you come under attack, you end up escaping, and that's where then you start, you know, working with the folks of New Prosperity to essentially combat the highwaymen. And early on, I would notice these people that looked like, I don't know, foragers, mountain men, if you will, and I. I I couldn't kind of figure out who they they were. It's like they came from the Stone Age. Yeah. Well, as it turns out, the citizens of Eden also survived. And they have gone back to the Stone Age because they realized that technology and also their deranged leader is what led to the nuclear apocalypse. Who, by the way, disappeared on them at yeah. one point. To seek the truth. To seek the truth, which... Uh, so many yep. biblical references in this fucking game, but go on. Yeah. So as the story progresses, you end up working with the people of New Eden, 
in a essentially a joint venture to, to defeat the highwaymen. Yeah. Um, which you're, you're able to do. There was some some neat dynamics that I liked in the game, like how they brought back outposts. But now what you can do is you can uh, scrap the outposts, if you will, and the highwaymen take it over, and then you have to you know recapture it, but at a greater difficulty with greater rewards. Yeah, and it's like what three difficulties. Yeah. And then you actually even scrap it off the third one, and it, it gets even more. Which uh, is very so cool. Was... You get ethanol, which is basically the, the way to buy and make things and, and upgrade stuff in this one. Which, speaking of making stuff, I really liked that in this one, it was it was all centered around crafting. Far Cry mm-hmm. 5, if I wanted to buy something, I would just go out, farm money, yeah, and far... buy whatever I needed. Far Cry 5 was very, like, considering Far Cry, the Far Cry series is very centered around crafting. Far Cry 5 was a very, was very, mind the pun, a very far cry from the original series. Seems like they took a departure on crafting. Yeah, like, they wanted to do something completely different. Yeah, and then they corrected that for for New Dawn, and uh, that brought a, a really interesting element to it. I don't think I was ever at a point where... I was I couldn't progress because I couldn't craft what I needed. Like the pacing felt really good. Yeah. But it was it was just kind of nice, you know, almost in a way being limited and really having to to think my choices through a little bit more. Yeah. Do I want to upgrade this right now, or can I? Do I want to get this better, whatever, or you know that kind? It that it's very cool. Then again, though, I'll, I'll tell you this much: playing with you, I had as much ethanol as I ever needed in single player. Yeah. Like, Eth- you get to keep ethanol, the ethanol. I, I would, I was never hurting for it, but the crafting materials, there were definitely times where, where I was low and I'd have to wait to get something new. Yeah, like uh, uh, whatever you get from the uh, the monstrous creatures, the, whatever those those yeah. crafting material. I'm low on those right now. I gotta get more. But the of those. main the, bag, the main bad guys in this one isn't really isn't really Joseph, the father, the father. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the main bad guys, the main enemies in this one are two sisters and. Um, it's very interesting. They're normal bad guys from any Mad Max style. They're, era. they're sadistic. They're sadistic. They're sadistic. Um, once you upgrade your 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 settlement the first time, this happens, and you just couldn't. Oh yeah. And uh, there's a point where this one of the sisters gives a, a, a grenade, a live grenade, to a kid. It's like, hey, yeah. hold this. To you know. to prevent you from attacking her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on to this uh, for me. Yeah, but the the story was really well done. I felt like there was there was good pace for it. And the thing I liked was that other than the, well, I think I even I had to start a mission to do it. But it wasn't like in five, where when you would reach those checkpoints, that it would automatically trigger a story mission. When you ju- uh, when you just pissed off, you know, the Eden guys just enough, it would magically mm-hmm. just start the mission without your permission. Whoa, I'm Doctor mm-hmm. Seuss. But yeah, it would just start. It would start it without you wanting to do it. And I mean, how many times have you and I been flying a plane? All of a sudden, that you see that bliss magic shit in the air. Yeah, get stoned while flying the plane. Yeah, and then it starts. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that was a huge frustration for me in five. And that's been removed, which was really nice. Uh, the other part that was nice was that so in five they would like increase the patrols, for which made sense for the game. You know, you, as you would reach your little check marks along progress in a region. You know, they would start having more patrols, more planes and stuff like that. And I felt kind of, I don't know, sometimes I like to just essentially roam the map, just see what I get to. And I felt yeah. really hindered in five with, you know, constantly being under attack. And so that was that was also removed from New Dawn, and I felt a lot more freedom. Well, one of the things you first told me about that game when we, when we started playing was like, and it's funny because you say constantly under attack, the... Um, the wildlife hates you. Oh yeah. Unless you have the, the dog. Is full uh, aggro. Yeah, but that wildlife, like how many there was it there was a few times you and I would play and we'd get attacked by a bear and then we'd kill the bear and a cougar would come along and then like a fucking eagle. Like I'm not kidding, yeah. this was like not even two seconds after the first attack. You know? Yeah, you like we're gonna get a, a cougar, another bear. You get attacked, and we're like, where the fuck did that come from? You're like, a fucking eagle swooping down at you. And so we'd take five minutes to try and kill that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's, uh, the, the wildlife is no joke. 
especially those motherfucking snakes. Oh, let's get to the snakes. This, the snake is either in that game to us. The snake is the worst enemy than the actual enemies. Like yep. we hear a snake, we we yell snake, and then we look for it or burn everything around that where we hear it, and it does yeah, until it's dead. Throw Molotov cocktails, and I the worst that. part is, is some of the brush that's like really overgrown. Uh -huh. When you walk through that it sounds like a snake mm -hmm. so there was quite a few times where we basically freaked ourselves out yeah we're, I, we're like there's a snake here somewhere i know it i know it i know it I, what the fuck is it we gotta kill it it's gotta die now why is it that then, we don't like the snake so much explain that why 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 are the snakes such a horrible horrible aspect of this game it scares the shit out of me because it fucking latches onto your arm and all like you know it goes and, into uh, a small cinematic mode when you get close enough to yeah. it, where it it you you see your character getting attacked and it latches onto your arm and it scares it does it scares the fuck out of you. I think there's a few times uh, there's a few times that we were playing and I hear fucking snake and you know and a few times I had said it too and you laugh your ass off. His dumb ass was was wanting me to go into places first where he knew a snake was at just so I can get attacked. And yeah. cougars well, love me. It, cougars love me. In all in all fairness, it was because. In my first 30 minutes of playing this game, I was attacked by four snakes. I was fucking over it. Oh, I was wow. Samuel L. Jackson. I was sick and tired of these motherfucking snakes in this motherfucking land. In this motherfucking game. And, uh, <laughs> so, then, uh, so then, like, I would see snakes and just be like, hey, the wild, go, uh, go check out that room over there. <laughs> Asshole. The wildlife, you know, posed a, a nice kind of little challenge because, yeah, that was... And instead of people constantly after you, you had wildlife constantly. Oh after. yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and it, it, but that was it made it fun. I mean, and if you had the dog, yeah. uh, if you had the dog, it helped. Yeah, because so. he would uh, pop up and let you know where where stuff was. And then just uh, the group of characters that you meet are a lot of fun. Um, which actually, it's fun some of the uh, the links because there are old characters that come back like Nick Rye, uh, Herc, who. Because Herc has a uh, basically like a pro wrestler demeanor. I mm -hmm. always call him Herkomania, you know, instead of Hulkamania. And uh, so it's just fun kind of having some of those come back. And then Carmina, who actually is the one that initially invited the group, is actually the daughter of Nick Rye, who in Far Cry 5, you help deliver. You help to get birth. So it was kind of, yeah, it, it was fun kind of bringing that full circle. Yeah, uh, so it was fun. I mean, I mean, you get to see like Carmina's mom, and it. I remember going, "Man, she looks familiar. What do I fucking know her?" Yeah. And then we finally put two and two together, and it was, "Oh, what's that's what's his name's mom," you know. And of course, my pervy ass, I'm like, "I'd like to have a little mother daughter action." Yeah, yeah you're going for the sportsman's double creep. And you know <laughs> what? You know what? It, it it's it it's the freaking apocalypse. It's the post post apocalypse. Anything's anything's possible. There, there you go. And like I keep saying, no one, no one's one free of sin. No one's yes, free that, of sin. That was, and... that was your your constant throughout. Uh, and then just the the way that the game ended, uh, I felt like the ending was very well paced, and I felt like I got to have closure on everything. So yeah, well, you even get to see what happened to the rook, right? Yeah. Spoiler um, alerts coming up. Oh hell yeah, um, lots of them. Yeah. So some of the things you find out is you actually Joseph has a son. Ethan, who Joseph essentially, I don't know, kind of, he wanders off into the woods to find himself, get his shit together, uh, whatever you want to call it. Well, and according to yeah. the according to the stories, his mom, what, Martha? This is not Martha. Martha! His mom, what, Mar I forget her name. Start with the name. Yeah. She, uh, she left at one point, according to what we yeah. read. She left, it, she left him because he was crazy. Yep. And, and this is funny because in the first game, didn't he like strangle his child in the first game? Didn't he say he killed his kid? Yeah, I think he went all like fucking Hercules and killed his family and then had to atone for it. Yeah, and then he had another kid, apparently, and it, it happened to be this Ethan kid. Well, what had happened, according to what we read, you know, the, the, the little lore in the game, you never really get to meet the mom, I guess. According to what we read... She took off and then like left him with the left the kid with him at one point. Because that's a solid parenting move is to leave your child with a cult leader. Oh yeah, with the psycho cult leader. It's a great motherly yeah. fucking thing to do. So anyway, she left this kid with him and he had to grow up with 
Joe with this this fucking yeah, father Joseph guy Benjamin Joseph in a cult in a post apocalyptic world. Like he kinda had the cards stacked against him. I'll give him that. And there's there's uh, some there's some flashbacks throughout the game. Like in my opinion, these flashbacks are actually like really shittily placed. Like this this information yeah. could have been much earlier in the game and it would have been great. Like maybe some of the information about the sisters was good. Um uh, because there's there's some like those were probably placed pretty decent. Because about the time you you kill them, I might be getting ahead of myself, but about the time you kill them, you get to see a flashback, or close about the time you you're, you deal with them, you get to see flashbacks of them talking to their mother. And at that point, I hate to say it, but I have no interest. I have no, I don't care. I have, I, I'm like, yeah, you guys could have told me this a long time ago. I, at this point, I just yeah. killed them. I want them dead. I, no fucks given. I'm I'm with you there. Let's find out the sisters, kind of their backstory and why they're so deranged. Yeah, but it didn't uh, even really explain that. It just they said like they just blame it all on daddy, and that's it. Yeah, they they had some daddy issues, which uh, you never got to meet. But, well, because I think daddy was already dead. Yeah, you know, we that's still have that one daddy. mission we haven't finished. There's like the last mm-hmm. mission, so maybe there there might be some more. Like there's a, like we we literally beat all the bad guys in the game. It even says we finished all of the missions, yeah. and there's literally we 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 uh, by accident seen this. Like we're like what the fuck? What's this? And it was it, it's back in prosperity. We had to go back when we haven't done it yet because we just yeah. run out of time. Uh, so we still got that to do. But uh, then there's there might be like some cutscenes we don't know yet. It's pretty pretty well wrapped up, but. Yeah. Uh... So there's there's definitely some interesting filler. I mean, like when you're going to search for Joseph, you actually go back to the bunker that he hid in with uh, oh, yeah. Rook. And when we did our Far Cry Five recap, there was a lot of rape jokes about what happened in that bunker. This Joseph. kind of this kind of. Uh... And uh, it appears that uh, some of that may have actually come true. <laughs> Don't uh, so. There's a uh, shower scratch. section there that had don't drop the soap scratched in on the wall and then don't was scratched out. So there there might have been some. Rook, Rook, and Rook was very quiet in, from what I could tell in the first, in in that game. Because Rook, yeah. you did get to meet Rook, but Rook was called the judge. Yeah, um, Rook has uh, essentially gone to the dark side. And has become a full-fledged member of uh, New Eden. He's a wears piggy. a mask now. He's he's. I would think of him as like uh, I don't know the security director of security. So yeah, he he's essentially like the the security person yeah. for for New Eden. I mean, um, he even worked for he even worked for Ethan the son, which was yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, so you get to. To work, uh, work with him, whatnot, and then you you interact with Joseph, and he provides you with. Uh, uh, I'm pretty much saying it's some irradiated fruit that gives you superpowers, mm-hmm. um, and uh, so you interact with him, and then oh, it's supposed to be like like it's an apple, it looks yeah. like, and it, he based basically you what you do is first you have to find Joseph because you want to you got to work with New Eden to defeat the Highwaymen. Yep, this and then, is one of those you're not going to be able to do it with just the people you have. You really have to have a combined effort against them. So then, and it, so then, Ethan's like, "You got to find the father. You got to find my dad." And basically, I mean, he makes it clear from the very beginning. You got to, we got to make sure he's. I, I'm, I'm hoping he's dead, more or less, is what he says, because he wants yeah, to leave. He, he wants Joseph to be dead. He's he got wants, a bit of a gun complex himself. Yeah, I mean, like father, like son, but yeah. uh, he. Uh, so he sends you out to find to find out that his dad's dead. Well, you don't find out his dad's dead. You find out he's alive, and you found out what happened to Rook. You find out Rook's still alive, and you get to see Rook like there's little notes, and you find you get to see Rook's down decline, like he, yeah. him going into him going into whatever. Like I did, I fucked up. I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have did that. I I I, I was wrong. I was completely wrong. The father was right, and in all this basically it's Stockholm syndrome. Yes. And uh, lots of rape. Uh, I hate to think it was a joke, but it's—I'm pretty sure it was right. Like according to what we read, it seems, like it, it seems to have come true. I mean, two guys uh, locked in a bunker. Yeah. So then you uh, you end up basically finding Joseph, taking him back. Ethan's pissed because well, you were supposed to kill him 
And after he found out he was alive, he was like, kill, kill my yeah. dad, make sure, da 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 da. And yeah, Ethan's pissed because jo- Joseph comes back like, I'm back, guys. It's me. Yeah, I got, I got this. I Here's got what this. we're going to do. And Ethan wants no part of it. So Ethan actually sells out New Eden to the twins. Yeah. Uh, and you find this out when you actually have infiltrated their compound to kill them. Yeah. So instead, you. Which that was a badass Eden. mission, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that right. was fun. You know, the only thing that yeah. they got away, but they got away, but you got to kill all of their like leaders or whatever. Yeah, the, the highwaymen are, they have like chapters. They think yeah. almost like motorcycle gang. And so the leaders of several chapters should all congregate it for an annual thing. And so, yeah, you got to kill several leaders of other uh, uh, chapters. It felt good. And then you go, then you go after the, uh, the twins and you find them at New Eden. They burned it to the ground. And you end up in a gunfight with them. You end up killing them. And then it's actually a cut scene where you kill uh, the last one. I don't, it's Mickey and Lou. Uh-huh. Um, then the cut scene, you know, they're propped up against rocks. And, you know, you, I got to put a 9 millimeter right between her eyes. And it felt it felt nice. Yeah. You know, that, it, felt, it, it was... It was I, uh... thought I, I thought I was going to get cheated out of it. Just like in five, like she was going to die on her own or something like that. I wasn't... But no... Got to put her down, and then... Uh, it lets you kill... Like, one of them died. The other one's like, are you dead yet? And she start, they talk a little bit, and then the one stops responding. She's like, no, no, don't die on me. I'm like, how many people have you killed? Yeah. Like... No, you're... I'm older. I'm supposed to go I'm first. I'm supposed to go and... first. Yeah, then you get that, that might... flashback where you're like, I don't care. I just yeah, killed these there bitches. Might been, there might have been some more dialogue. I don't know. As soon as I was able to squeeze the trigger, I did. Yeah, we, we go. We have to go back to where uh, it was. I want to say I'm a week. I think we called it Joseph's rape hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was basically, his, his retreat that where, he had gone to find himself. Where the and, uh, uh, where the the fruits at? Which, by the way, that fruit gives you special powers when you eat it. This guy yeah, became they, a superhero asshole. Yeah, you get you go super cyan <laughs> uh-huh. and jump really high, but. Uh, so then Ethan eats the fruit against his dad's wishes and becomes like this fucking golem looking creature. It's like a and... darkness golem. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you have to follow him. He's like eh, eh. he's like choking on it. Uh, I'm dying. And then yeah. you follow him and then you you find him in this cave, the cave of wonders. Yeah. <laughs> he's in this cave and he's not even like a normal dude. He's like he's like a flaming darkness golem thing and you kill him and Yeah. Uh, only the chosen can eat the fruit. Like, I guess Joseph ate had he got to eat it, and then I, apparently some of those the Peggy's got to eat it because they had supernatural powers. And his son, like, it was even a flashback. His son's like, "Can I eat the fruit?" And when he's a kid, he's like, "No, fucker, you never get to eat this shit, never." <laughs> he the yeah. kid, even the kid, and the kid as a kid, like Ethan's like, "Oh, someday you're gonna die, and I'm still gonna fucking eat it." So fuck you, you know. Pretty much, oh. he he was an insolent little fuck to say yeah. the least. Yeah, well, so his father's son. Getting, yeah, so we end up getting getting to kill Ethan. So just for those keeping score at home, not only have I got to kill the twins, but now I got to kill Joseph's son. You know, well, he's boohooing over his dead son that he told us to kill fuck, to begin with. Yeah, your fuckhead of a son that you told us to kill, we've now killed. And he's oh, what have I done? And all the different thing. And then he grabs your pistol and points it at his chest. I can't be the shepherd. You're the shepherd. I should have been the shepherd. And he asks you to end his life, of which I gladly, gladly did. It was the ending we wanted from the first game. Like, exactly. We want the whole the whole point of the first game is so you can kill fucking Joseph Seed. Yep. And we didn't get that. Instead, you got a lot of butt rape. Yeah. Yeah. So. I that mean, one, that one was for throughout Rook. the whole yeah, game, that, there was a lot was, of... Hey, I know what you went through, Rook, and <sighs> I have been with you. I have been, yeah. Oh, my God, like, um, it was supposed to be dramatic, but I think we were more excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were just like, finally, finally we get to put him down. Yeah. Oh, who else? What, uh, didn't Thomas Rush die at one point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I forgot, he's such an unimportant character. Yeah. Um, Rush is killed by the twins. Yeah, and I called it. I told you when it happened. I said, "Watch, Rush is gonna die," and you're like, "Nah, I don't think so." And he ends up dying. Like it yeah. was, it was supposed to be a very, and it was supposed to be a very horrific scene. 
in my opinion, Rush, you didn't get to know Rush enough. Like you, you. Yeah, he didn't get developed enough for you to. Like, I didn't care. Yeah, that sucks. But I've been doing all the head li- heavy lifting anyway, so. Fuck well, you, I Rush. didn't even see it as it sucked. I just was like, oh, okay. Well, they just killed another person. Like I'm not. Like if if they told us if there was a little backstory where Rush, showed us Rush saved, saved our life or something like yeah. amazing, like it'd have been great. But no, we didn't get that. We just got, oh hey, this is Rush. Say hi to Rush. He's your partner. Uh, throughout the game, you oh you save him in the first part. Oh, and then and then he does nothing. He just sits there and talks to you every so often. And then finally he kill. And finally you 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 have to go save him again because you know, he went missing. Well, we knew he, we knew he, we knew where he was at. You knew we knew he was with the sisters, and so you yeah. meet them, and he they fucking blast his ass. And I'm like, like I said, I no fucks given. Like I'm like, oh, okay. And this is after he got to eat the fruit, or break the cuffs that they had you in, because they had you uh, in cuffs like chained to the ceiling. And you basically go, like Super Saiyan, you beat the shit out of this one yeah. of the sisters. You're in the process of just ah, like rage mode beating the crap and then they shoot you with a shotgun you fall out a window and and survive it they leave, they leave you for dead yeah so the way this one ended i felt a lot more I justified know, I, I, yeah well i felt that it was it was wrapped up i didn't have any any questions any you weren't as pissed stuff. off because you, you're pissed off yeah. on far cry 5 at the end you're pissed like you're like, what the fuck did I just see? Like all these explosions, and now I'm stuck in a fucking bunker with this dickhead. You know what's yeah. gonna happen? And yes, getting to shoot him in the heart just made me feel just a special kind of fucking. Uh... So the way the story went, the way it was paced, like just overall, I felt like this was really well done. A great way to uh, to wrap up this chapter of Far Cry history. Oh um, yeah. And then one one of the things we didn't talk about that was. Kind of a, a neat little side portion was you can do uh, expedition. Oh yeah, and, that's. Uh, there's one of the guys in your camp. He has a helicopter that he'll fly you to different locations. The French like one dude. Of them, yeah, one of them's an old aircraft carrier. One of them's like a crashed uh, portion of the space station, and you essentially have to like grab gear, and then he comes and picks you up in the helicopter, and you're supposed to do it stealthily. Um, we we managed that. that. We managed that once, and then every other time we got spotted and had to just have a gun battle, which I mean well, it worked out. The mullet militia doesn't play like that. The mullet militia goes yeah. right in, and we go full retard, and we kill as many people as we can. We do try to stealth sometimes, but yeah. we're too loud to be stealthy. Of course, the that's another thing. The guns are are because it's post apocalyptic. The guns yeah, are like all... thrown together, like it's funny. It's it's. I want to say it's oh, almost crap. like uh, Fallout status, you know, with some of the yeah, and some of the and some of that were rubber bands holding your stuff together. Yeah, like belts out of flashlight. Yeah, and it's it's funny as hell. Like a bayonet is basically a broken uh, like a knife or a broken uh, um, sc- scissors or a sharpened screwdriver. Yeah, the kill like the stealth kill aspects when you stab someone, it it always feels great. Like you feel like a badass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Though Just punching, though punching them isn't as fun because that's like one of those things you can multiply level up, and I, I and I've leveled up quite a bit, but punching them I still get knocked on my ass. Like I walk up to them yeah, and I'll punch them. Mine's like level, mine's like level five or six, and I still they just kind of like laugh it off and then hit me with the end of their weapon and yeah, knock me down. knock you down. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Why, why the hell is that aspect there if it doesn't work? There are a lot of quests, a lot of side things to do in this game. Like, you got to pick up uh, uh, photos. You can yeah. you can upgrade music with MP3 players and get different songs. And it's not just all rap. Thank God. It's like old yeah. school songs. Um, there's instances of that. Oh, I had a situation. I was playing the Friday. And I was playing, I was streaming, and it was a situation where, it was at the beginning of the game where I, uh, the game's not not clear of glitches. It has its glitches and, and problems. Yeah. And uh, there's a scene, there's a part, you know where there's, they're, they're in the training camp where they're pushing the tire? Uh-huh. I was going to upgrade my training camp, and I walked up to it, and a guy was pushing the tire, and I got launched into the air. Like, <laughs> I'm not talking just, you know, a few feet, no. 
like like it was an airdrop high. I, like I just <laughs> kept going up. I almost at one point thought I was never gonna stop. Oh no! And finally, I started falling, and I you know I had to I had to parachute use the parachute but it was it launched me so high and all i did was barely walk up to one of the guys pushing the tires so the tire launched me yeah speaking of airdrops it is rather fun to fast travel to a location and airdrop in but not tell you that we're airdropping yeah. in yeah well the first time you did that i was like what the fuck's going i forgot that was an option because you know it doesn't come till later on i think until you upgrade to level three and prosperity some of these places don't look anything like they used to because of, you know, no. post-apocalypse, you know, mm -hmm. explosions and shit. And that's where the um, the the photos come in because you get to pick up, yeah. you get to collect photos. Yeah, it, and... You get to see what it used to look like. Yeah. And that was, that was fun getting to see this is what it was in 5 and this is where it's at now. The compound that Joseph Seed used to have is completely underwater now. Like, yeah. We, we, and because, you know, in Far Cry 5, you didn't get to see it until the very end. And it was kind of cool to actually explore it and see. And, and that's one other thing I do like is that there's certain parts in the game. There's a lot of parts in the game where you have to collect shit. Like you, you and I would go and, and, and it became, it became a mission. We have to find all five of these things in one spot, like, yeah. you know, gears or what have you. I don't know. What would you, what would you say? Like, what would you rate this game? I would give militia? it, I would give it an eight. An eight, eight out of ten. It's not bad, you know. It's an expansion, but it's fun. The all in all, that's all it is. Really yeah, and I mean, you know, the fact of the matter, eight is still. It might not still a quality game. It's more than playable. Mean? Yeah. Yeah, it it's not going to be one of those classics like Halo, for example, that you know people are going to talk about for years to come. But I enjoyed playing through it, and uh, I thought it was pretty well done. Well, let's let's you know I'm I'm giving an eight as well, but let's talk about uh, some of the some of the things we didn't like. We've been we've been pe pedestaling this bitch, yeah. you know. Like <clears throat> one of the things I liked about Far Cry Five, and you've heard me talk about this, and this is something I've been talking about talking on the podcast. Uh, I can't just let this go. Um, the graphics in Far Cry Five were so great when you started fires, because you know fire starter mm -hmm. everywhere we're going, everywhere we go there's fires. Yeah, purposely just... or not. It just happens. Yeah. So, the, you know, in, in Far Cry 5, the, the fire mechanics were beautiful. Like, if you, burnt, yeah. uh, if you burnt shit down, it looked like it was burnt down. The grass was dead. Everything was gone. In this, it just magically stays there. It's yeah. Like, it, doesn't, it doesn't change. It's like yeah. they forgot. I mean, the graphics in the game are beautiful, but it it's like they forgot to put in this, this, this dynamic. And it, it honestly like it's nitpicking, but it honestly it pisses me off. I don't like it. Like I, it doesn't feel like the magic the first you know Far Cry Five had because I love start you you know it sounds so bad saying this, but I love starting fires in that game. Your and, Honor, uh, I'd like to present Exhibit A. <laughs> in the wild arson trial. Well, you were uh, you were also talking about you know the story we even said in the in the podcast podcast about uh far cry 5 is that story where we put those two dead bodies in in the in the yeah. you know in the on fire. innocent civilians and i helped no you one, cover up the crime no one is innocent and yes if if that happened in real life you'd be there with me yeah. uh but i think the the thing to take note of is that yes it is nitpicky fire mechanics but that's that's how well done it was that yeah. to find stuff we didn't like we have to get nitpicky yeah we didn't find I didn't find stuff that was broken horribly, and, you know, to where it made the game unplayable. Um, yeah. I mean, there was some stuff with, uh, you know, how uh, the game was fitting to the screen. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, like words or captions would mm -hmm. be pushed off to the side or whatnot. But I think they fixed nothing... that. There was an update recently, and it, it, I haven't had that problem, it seems. I think maybe they fixed yeah. it. So very, very minor stuff that overall the gameplay was smooth. Controls are great. I mean, it's not much different from the other one. We really didn't have to relearn anything. And it, I, I enjoyed how trimmed down a lot of stuff was. Like, I didn't, it didn't feel such an arduous task trying to complete all the different challenges, find all the different places. Like, I, I really enjoyed the, the map size and how many. I'm. It, some stuff gets a little repetitive. You know, like having ten outposts that you have to go through over and over again. They There's just had 30 seven. outposts. That would have been great. Yeah. 
Um, there's only seven uh, expeditions you have to go through three different times. Um, but again, when you keep in mind that this is more of an expansion than a full-fledged game. You paid you, $40, you know, you know. It's not. Keeping that in mind, that's where I was okay with it. Would you I know? pay $60 for the game that they gave us? No. If I got, no. if I paid $60 and that that's what I got, I probably would have been a little frustrated. But... <laughs> Instead, we got, you know, we paid $40, and do the fire mechanics work as good? No. Do I care? It's not really that big a deal. Like, it's frustrating yeah. that you, when you do fire, when you burn something, it, I mean, even the bodies don't char. Like, you're it, you're just like, oh, yeah. that kind of sucks, but it's not that big a deal because I only paid $40 for this game. Yeah. You know, so it's not if that. You, if you go in with the mindset that it's $40, it's an expansion, this fits that box perfectly oh, money yeah you know yeah. i mean hey, they they got ubisoft got me for a hundred bucks between the two games and i'm okay with that yeah that and that's fine because it honestly in my opinion i think it's worth it i know that there's naysayers out there mm -hmm. there's people out there that don't like the you didn't care for it at all but you know that we it for us i think it was good it was good for us yeah it it suited uh suited the kind of gameplay that i like well it was the uh, ending we needed Hold on, hold on. Now. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Ready? I've been waiting to do this since the first game. You want to join me in this magical tea bag? Oh god, it feels so good. It's so worth it. <laughs> So I, I feel like uh, they put a nice little bow on uh, this portion of the Far Cry story, and uh, we can move on. Yeah, yeah. I I am no longer so angry with Ubisoft. I no longer feel the need to write that strongly worded letter. So two eights from us. It's a good game. Now here's a question: Is there any other games you guys want us to play? Yeah, let us know. Is there any old games you want us to play? Is there anything? Um... Is there anything in particular you want us to check out? Because uh, me and Sam36, we like to do this stuff, especially yeah. if it's like a co-op game. Yeah. I mean, really what we're looking, would be good is a co-op game and on PS4. Yes. That'd be much easier. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and end this, guys. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate you listening. We'll see you next week. We we're glad you were with us on this mini-boss episode. Any final thoughts there, Sam36? Nope. As always, uh, just appreciate y'all stopping by and uh, hearing our uh, I don't know, rants. Yeah, our rants and our opinions that you may or may not give a shit about. All right, everyone, we want you to stay nerdy, stay sexy. Always. I believe in you. You can go up there. Look, Mama, I can fly.